today is food for thought comes from the 45th chapter of Genesis verses 4 and 5, which reads, And Joseph said to his brothers, Please come near to me. So they came near him. Then he said, I am Joseph your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. But now do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. Joseph's brothers, they sold him into the bondage of Egypt, and then they went and lied to their dad, Jacob, also known as Israel, about what had happened to him. After being sold into slavery, the Lord did not leave, the Lord did not forsake Joseph. In fact, Joseph, he was rewarded because he was faithful. And during the seven years of the Great Famine, eventually Joseph's brothers, they had to come to him. They had to come to Egypt, where Joseph had filled up Egypt's storehouse with much grain. When Joseph's brothers, when they came before him, they didn't even recognize him. It had been just that long. But Joseph, he certainly recognized them. When Joseph finally revealed who he was to his brothers, they were so dismayed. They were greatly dismayed. And they couldn't even answer him when he asked about how his dad was doing, how their dad was doing. Why do you think they felt that way? Why do you suppose they were so dismayed that they were unable to even speak to their brother? They were dismayed because they knew that they had did him wrongly. There is an important lesson here that we must learn, a lesson that my parents taught me, especially my dad. My dad taught me this lesson. I was taught that you have to be very careful about how you go about treating others because you never know whose help you will need. Something about the way we treat each other today, it speaks to the fact that we don't value their lives, we don't value our lives. You see, we should live in a manner to where we value each other, where we value each other with respect, honor, and with love. As you often hear me say, God did not put any of us in this world to live by ourselves without needing to rely on each other. So this is my encouragement for you today. Live in a manner to where you value yourself by valuing all of those that are around you.